Taxi Vlog 210. It is the. What the hell date is it? The 19th of uh, June. We're almost on the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, the first day of summer. I'll attempt to be brief. Is that possible? I'll attempt. The uh, Tuesday last week after I made the vlog, uh, or should I say the Monday, uh, was pretty good. I had uh, three longer trips uh, in the morning hours and um, did okay. Tuesday night, exactly a week ago. I worked all night. I had four fares, and at five in the morning, I was forty dollars in the hole for the lease and fuel. Um, at five, ten after five, I was beginning to really worry. I started biting my nails even, and I haven't done that in many years. Then. At quarter after five, I got a call, which took me on a run to the airport and made it so that I had enough money to pay the lease and the fuel and bring home 95 cents for myself. 95 cents after being out here for 10 hours. Well, tonight I'll have nine hours in which to do it because I got to work late because I was kind of sleepy and tired and creaky and slow in getting ready today because it's my last day of the week. I'm tired. The Friday night was uh, nothing special. But at one point, I guess around 11 o'clock, it got busy and I had one trip on top of another and I dropped off downtown and I was in the middle of traffic because there had been some kind of concert or something going on and it was letting out and there were people everywhere and I was waiting for a traffic light to turn and some guy comes running from the side and gets in the back seat and says Beacon Hill Park and I say all right any particular part of Beacon Hill Park, he doesn't answer. He occasionally says something, and what he says doesn't really make a lot of sense. And then we get stuck at another red traffic light, and he says, can I come in the front? Yeah, okay, sure. So he gets out of the back, he closes the door, opens the front door, and gets in. So we're heading towards the park, and he says, turn left. I say, no, if I turn left here, this will take us the wrong way. It's the next one. Oh, 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 all right. So then I turn left, and he says, uh, take me to the Max store. Okay, so now he doesn't want to go to the Beacon Hill Park anymore. He wants to go to the Max store. Do you want some head, he says. Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. I, I got some already. So we get to the Max store. And he deposits in my lap a keychain with a garage door opener, you know, one of those garage door opener things, and a Mercedes Benz car key. So I'm going, well, I'm hoping this guy is good for the money. He goes in the store and gets something, and then he comes back out and says, okay, now to the park. I give him his keys back. And uh, we get, I say, well, what part of the park? Oh, by the totem pole, by the totem pole. I don't really know where that is because I'm night shift. I never see a totem pole at the park. But I'll take his word for it, so I take his direction to where we're going. He says, okay, just, just park it right here. And it's like $12 on the meter. And he gives me a 20, says, keep the change. At one point... I think before he asked me if I wanted some head, he said it's his first time doing blow. And I told him that I tried it once and that I didn't get a high, or I don't feel like I got a high, but I came down so hard 
that I never did it again. That's been my experience with cocaine. Uh, I hope he doesn't do it regularly. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was dinner was good. Cindy did a a breaded chicken, and the the breaded stuff had some really nice spices in it. And it was delicious. Thanks, Cindy. The next night, the Saturday night was busy. I I had haven't. I think I had a Saturday night like that a couple weeks ago where nothing I did went wrong. Although the first half of the night felt like the energy wasn't there, but somewhere around midnight I started connecting and getting really lucky and long fares and good tips. And at one point I got sent to a. Actually, I dropped off at a hotel downtown, and these other guys got in, and they went way down to the other end of Esquimalt, and then one of them went to near Vic General. Anyway, it ended up being like a $35 fare, and I got like $45 for doing it. It was excellent. And then right away, I got sent to a, a, a hall, a place called Strawberry Vale Hall, and uh, that's where people have like functions and weddings, receptions and stuff, and it was a wedding reception, and then this young couple got in. And the girl was saying how she hates the West Coast, she dislikes Victoria, she can't stand the people here, she's all alone, but she loves him. And he says, don't you think it would be the same no matter where you went? And then she kept going, oh, but I don't like the people here and I don't want to... to, to this business opportunity and I, I don't want that job and, and I don't want there to blah 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 she was negative on everything and he was saying well how would it be any better if you moved back to Toronto and she says well no I can't do that because I love you and you're everything I want and you're everything I ever hoped for and, and I want to be with you And he and then he then she says, but I hate it here and blah 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 and it's the drink talking and blah 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 and then they wanted to go through the McDonald's so I had to hear more of this at the drive-through of McDonald's. Her complaining about her life and how she doesn't like it here and how she can't stand the people and the weather and and everything here and how she wants to be with her family back in Toronto and. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then he's telling her, well, how would it be different? Blah, 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 blah. And this thing went over and over and over again. And it's like, they, he asked me, well, what do you think? I said, well, I'm not really getting into this. You know, it's your discussion. I don't know all the history behind it. And uh, I have a call. Okay, I think I'll go for it. So, anyway, going on from there. Uh, going on from there, we went through the whole rigmarole again, the whole bullshit again, and at one point uh, I said, well, why don't you both move to Toronto and be happy? <laughs> anyway, finally, I got them back to where they were going to, and it was, it was, it was a considerable fare again. It was like, you know... $25 and the guy gave me 40 and it's like wow you know what a night that that Saturday night worked out very well it it, uh, it gave me enough money to get groceries and put some in the bank to so that I have the whole rent in the bank already and I got some money for groceries and I might even get a new cell phone because the I did mention that last time didn't I in that long vlog something about a new cell phone I think the only reason I'm going to get one is so that I can text easily because I can't I can't do the pushing the button three times to get to the letter O or whatever. Um, it's not. It, it, it bugs me. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna give this phone to Cindy so she can use it for uh, when she's on her scooter and the scooter breaks down and she needs some help. Okay, so that was the Saturday. The Sunday I came out here. Sunday was. Uh, felt slow, but it wasn't too bad. I ended up doing all right. And, and I was watching a lot of videos, too. I I uh, got caught up on 
YouTube, or, or I'm in the process of getting caught up on YouTube right now. Uh, one week of neglect, and now uh, two nights in a row, I'm, I'm mostly there. I've got maybe 50 or 60 videos to watch tonight, and I'll get through those, uh, even if it has to take me into the morning, and uh, tomorrow's my day off. Um, so last night I didn't do that well, but I was thankful for what I got. I made $50. I didn't have to pay to work, so that was all right again. And I'm uh, just about where I'm supposed to pick somebody up, so hope yours is better than mine. Good night.